Keeping on top of your customer receivables is important for any business. It's very easy to do in Dynamics GP. You can easily monitor your accounts receivable. You can contact customers. You can easily resend them documentation. And when the check comes, it's easy to apply that to outstanding invoices. So let's take a look at it. This is my homepage in Dynamics GP, and I've got a smart list that's showing me my customer aging. This is a listing of all my customers, and this is a column over here that has overdue balances. Let's take a look at Adam Park Resort. The first thing I want to do is maybe contact the customer. So I'm going to go to Customer Inquiry here, get some basic information on that. I can see that I need to talk to Roberta. I've got her phone number over here, so I'm going to give her a call and talk about outstanding balances. Also from this list, I can go to Individual Transactions and quickly respond to the customer's request for additional documentation. Let's take a look at just the open items. I've got several here, and this is the one I'm interested in right here. So I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to talk to the customer about this particular invoice. And if it turns out that I need to send them a copy of this invoice, it's easy to do, and I'll do that right now. All I need to do is hit Email. And it will create a quick email with the attached invoice. So let's take a look at that. Here's the email that I just sent. Let's take a look at the attachment. The attachment is rendered in Word, but delivered in PDF format so that your customers can easily deal with it. You can see it here. So it's easy to follow up with customers' requirements for additional documentation on payments that have not yet been made. Now let's assume that the payment has been made, and let's do the cash receipts entry for that. I'm going to go to the sales area page and then go to cash receipts here and enter a cash receipt for that particular document. I'm going to look up the customer and put in the amount of the payment that I received and the check number and I'm going to hit the apply button and apply it to that particular invoice. And here's the invoice right here. I'm just going to select that. It fully applies that payment to this particular invoice hit OK, and now I've got a payment, I've successfully recorded that, and when I post this, it's going to update the accounts receivable record and update my bank reconciliation as well. So it's an easy process to monitor your receivables, contact your customer, and get those problems resolved.